Yo, I never do my face where I'm at this stage and I look so greasy. What up, it's your girl Minna, and in this video, we are going to be reviewing a new product I got in the mail, this PR package from Bare Minerals, and it's their, oh, bless the Lord. All right, so we're gonna be reviewing the new Bare Minerals Clean, Vegan, Naturally Luminous Original Liquid Mineral Foundation and Concealer. Okay, so this is the new original liquid mineral foundation with SPF 20, it's $35, $35. <laughs> It launches on December 26th, okay? And the concealer launches in March, but I'm gonna be reviewing both of them right now, doing the first impressions, okay? Now, the liquid mineral foundation is vegan buildable formula, natural luminous finish to help refine and smooth the look of the skin's texture instantly and over time. So we got some skincare claims here, claiming to reduce the look of redness. It's made without silicone, parabens, talc, or oil, clinically proven to improve the look of bare skin in as little as four weeks, really. Huh. Awesome. There are 17 shades in the concealer and there are 30 shades in the foundation. We're gonna try this out right now. That's what we're gonna do. I was sent three of these foundations. So let's take a look and let's swatch. This is Deepest Deep and Deepest Deep 30. Obviously it's a frosted, not really frosted. Yeah, almost like a frosted glass. So you can't really see the color inside. I will swatch them. Just hang on a second. That's the darkest one that I have. Just having a little moment here. <laughs> I guess I could have just taken the insert out. Ugh. Here is the color Golden Deep, right? Golden Deep, we're gonna just go right here, just for, this, just for the fun of it. All right, and then this is the color Neutral Deep 29. Give a little shake, a little teeny pump. Yeah, it does look neutral. That's cute, obviously not for me, but really cute. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Oh my gosh, this is the last one that they gave me, Deepest Deep number 30. So this is from 20, this is 29, and then it goes to 30. That's a problem because that's a huge jump. Without me even putting this on, that's already a huge jump. Like what? It looks darker in the bottle than on my hand. Let's see. Lord, let's this fit me oh I might be able to mm. so she's got a pink undertone and that is not my undertone she is pink which could end up looking a little gray on me I've made pink foundation work in the past but it doesn't mean that I like to have to do that let me swatch the concealers and see what they talk about okay we're gonna go from lightest to darkest so the lightest one is dark 5n dark 5N is this lightest one. That's gonna be a very light. Not gonna work for me. And this is dark 5W. Perhaps this one will because it has a warm undertone. Yeah, but then again. Uh, that doesn't look dark to me at all. That looks light. What's the dark part about it? What about this is dark? That's even too light as a highlight. I think like, yeah, like I wouldn't just put this on as a highlighter. <sighs> If I did, it would be the second highlight that I would put on to highlight. So if I were to use a concealer that is not light enough, then perhaps I would go on top of it with this. Art one that I have, Deep 6C. I, it wouldn't be a contour color. It could contour someone who wears either of these as a foundation. I wonder if it's close to the foundation color. It's a little, okay, so it's more cool than the foundation color. The foundation color is a little warm, unless it just has oxidized. Okay, I wanna do this video, so I'm going to just use this as a foundation and we're gonna just make it do what it do. Here we are, we're going to make it work. Okay, now my cheeks look wicked dry because I just wiped off the, the swatches. That's why I can't stand swatches. All right, so this is deepest. 
Kist Deep 30. I'm just not gonna prime today. It does come with a brush. This is not my kind of foundation brush because it's not dense enough. This is a stippling brush. But because this is a natural foundation, because this is not going to pack the foundation on. When I used to work at MAC, I used a stippling brush for my makeup and the stippling brush is, is this. Dark, light, and it's just not very dense. You can apply your foundation in a very natural manner. I like to really pack on my foundation. I like a lot of pigment. So when I use foundation brushes, I use ones that are very densely packed, like it just goes on and it's hard. So this is a stippling brush. Anyway, okay, let me just use it because it came with it. Oh. <sighs> I'm gonna be very careful when I go around the edges of my face because I don't wanna pack this on. It's not my color. <laughs> I'm wiping off the brush to get the excess off. <laughs> Coverage is medium. This does have the natural finish it was talking about, meaning I'm looking dewy. And I like matte foundations, but it is the winter time, so this can, we can give this a shot. This color is just like, what? It better come together when I do my concealer. I'm looking very wet. <laughs> It does look good. Like my face was dewy prior to starting and it looks even more dewy. So I see the skincare benefits of it. It does feel like it's a skincare product. I get it, I get that for sure. To highlight, this is the color Dark 5W that I was talking about that I tried earlier. Let's try this now. Yeah, it looks light on camera, but it's not light enough in person. I like a little bit of a C under my eyes. So something cool. We're gonna see, we're gonna see with this. I have my damp sponge. These are from Amazon. Now let's blend. I mean, I, I did shave my face today, so I don't know if that's having something to do with it. My skin looks really, really good. And in general, I just take care of my skin. If you watch my IG stories twice a day. So, so I don't know, but this does look really good. It is so dewy. Like, wow. <laughs> if you want hydrated skin, this is an option, like for real. Okay, I'm gonna contour my face. I'm gonna use Lava Cake 590R. Bring the contour into your hairline a little bit. Rinse it off at night before you go to bed. Rinse co-wash for you. I don't feel greasy, but I feel like I've done my skincare. Like when I do my skincare, I feel greasy. I feel dewy. I feel like plump and like, you know, like I put jelly on my face. And that's part of the point. But with my foundation, I'm just like, wait. It just makes me feel like something ain't right. That's what this is about. It's got skincare benefits. You don't have to mat all this down with a powder. But even when you put a powder on your face, if the foundation is meant to be doing, it's gonna be doing. It's not gonna just bow down because you put powder on top. <laughs> It'll do that for 10 minutes and then next thing you know, you look shiny again. Oh my God, I didn't highlight my forehead. <laughs> I was like, wait, something doesn't look right on the forehead. Why am I still looking dark? I'm all out of sorts because this looks so strange that I forgot to highlight my forehead and my lip and my nose. Wow, this is such a problem. That's why I'm like, why does my contour look like that? Well, I never highlighted for God's sake. And I knew this didn't look defined either. Oh man, I knew something was wrong. I'm so annoyed. See why it's important for me? At least for me, I don't know about you. Comment and let me know if you have to follow the same steps each time you do your face. I mean, if I veer off and even if I use a different product, it just messes me up sometimes. Like I already contoured and now I'm highlighting. Who does that? I'm gonna set my face with a Huda Beauty Banana Bread Powder. Well, I'm gonna set my highlighted areas with this and I'll do the other parts of my face you'll see with my regular old powder. I like the fragrance in this Huda Beauty setting powder. It smells really good, very soft. Fenty has a fragrance too, so if you don't like fragrance, then yeah, then it's not for you. Amazing. Now to powder my whole face, I use my old usual, my old faithful, which is gonna be the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition Powder Foundation. I've always been using this, been using this for a long time. Deep Cool too. It's light, so it'll really balance everything out. You see. I always do this, so I'm not gonna change it. It's coming together now. <laughs> you know, we're, we're looking like something real. I still see the dew to my skin. So I know that before I finish my face, I'm going to look dewy. I just know that already. CoverGirl, same product, but Deep Cool 4. This is to contour, just to bring back the deepness in the skin.
Okay, now we're finished. I like how this look came together. My face still on the monitor looks red. In person, not compared to my shoulder, I don't know. I gotta go look in the big mirror and really get a whole, get the whole view. On the monitor, yeah, I look red. Oh, bless God. I like the finish of the foundation. Again, I shaved my face, I take care of my skin, so my skin was already looking smooth and dewy, as you saw before we began the video. The skin still looks good. I still see a shine. But take away the shine from my Illuminizer from Rare Beauty, all links are below. Hello. You still see a shine, you know, even up here, I didn't add anything that was shiny and you can still see a dew. So I do see the natural luminosity that the product does claim to have. I do see that, but I hope that you like how this dark purple look came out. Natural dew, fine. Like if I put on a matte foundation and no primer, but I know my skin is hydrated from my skincare, I will look naturally dewy, but that's with a matte foundation. This foundation is luminous. Off the rip, aside from the fact that it's red, I do like the way that this foundation makes my skin look. Well, we are at the end. I want you to comment and let me know what your thoughts are on any of the products you saw me use. Also, let me know if you have any interest in getting this. Were you using Bear Pro? It's Bear Pro was the old one. I have too but that one was a little pink too so were you using Bear Pro before? Are you planning to get this foundation, concealer? I was shocked. Remember I told you I was gonna put a lighter color underneath? I didn't do that and it actually worked out fine. So I almost did a little bit too much. All right, praise the Lord. As always, glad you watched the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.